and rode a bike together. That's very nice. Okay. So I have some questions. And the first question is, as uh, we know, Ducati made a special edition motorcycle named after your name, called Smart. <laughs> Uh, what have you do until Ducati very appreciate you? I had to win a very important race in 1972, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. And this was the first big race for Ducati for their big capacity motorbike, 750cc motorcycle. And it was in Imola, in Italy, 23rd of April 1972. I heard from him in this time, but I was many years before racing, but I understand what race he won. Yeah. Okay, and the next question is, if I'm not wrong, you were the motorcycle brand thing. I raced for many of the Japanese companies. In 1972, I went to America and raced the American National Championships, the AMA Championships. Because it was more profitable um, and there wasn't too many opportunities in Grand Prix in Europe. So I made the decision to go to America, which was very good for me. Okay, so next is, I had done interview with uh, your son, and uh, uh, he is very nice guy. As I know for, uh, from him, he was uh, also a rider, but um, she, uh, decided, uh, he decided to be the technical director rather than be a rider. Uh, be, uh, uh, because you are a father of him, what do you think about that reaction? I'm very proud of my son because he's now technical director of WSBK, the World Superbike Championships. Mm -hmm. I'm pleased he's retired from racing because I don't have to worry of him crashing anymore. It's now. Um, he now is controlling um, one of the controllers of World Superbike, and it's a very good job. And hopefully, hopefully, he will remain in with that job for many years. And then uh, this time, the helmet and the leather for riders are very uh, safe than during your time. Uh, what is the difference between the old helmet and leather, and nowadays helmet and leather? And did you both ever think that nowadays, um, nowadays helmet will be safe like this? Time many years ago, we have not so good helms on good letters. The helm was very simple, and when you make a crash with this one, was very difficult to find a big crash. Now the new ones is much much better and nicer. Mm. <laughs> How about you think? Yes, the. the the clothing is much better, the leathers are much stronger, the crash helmets, the helmets are much better. And also, also the tracks, the race circuits are much safer. So it is better, it's better for the riders now. But they also go much faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, the next is, are you still watching uh, today uh, championship as MotoGP, um, World Superbike? What is uh, what uh, is your favorite um, rider uh, nowadays, and why you uh, uh, have a favorite with them? Uh, <laughs> it's difficult. I looking uh, every TT, uh, 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 every races for, for the Grand Prix, and uh, I'm still very interested. And I, I, I for my for myself, I feel uh, Rossi. Is a very big ride because for so many years racing, and then you stop and you come again. It's not easy to be very fast, but he, I think, this very special. Uh -huh. 
Marquez? What, what do you Ma think of Marquez? Marquez? Sorry. <laughs> sure, Marquez uh, also is perfect. Mm. Yeah, but Marquez is young and he is a talent. Mm. So he is fast. Mm. That is, I, for me, is very good and I, sh uh, and I understand what he can do. But only the different uh, to the to the Rossi is the, the the age when you're so old and you can go so fast. That is very special. Very special. Okay. Also, my mom said that um, uh, Marquez is so fast and like the ru uh, the uh, rubber is like sticking from uh, from the track, so it cannot be falling. Correct. Many times I, I think, "Show what he make now soon a crash," mm. but he, he maybe he have special tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, what do you think uh, about this championship at And what is your favorite rider in there? And why you like uh, the favorite rider? Well, I too like Rossi mm -hmm. for the same reasons because he's been top of his profession for so many years. It's amazing that a rider can can still win at that level of racing at his age. He's nearly 40 years old. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But also Marquez, he has brought a new level to racing. He's moved moved the boundaries as we say. He's he's made He's made big improvements in racing, and they have to. Everybody has now to ride to his standards. They have to keep up with him. He's the man who's setting the setting the pace, but he's young and brave. Yeah. Okay. And the last question is, what did you both uh, do to keep your body fit so you're still able to ride bike very good? Uh, yeah. Uh, I was. Racing was my life and I do all what I can do for going very good. So I, I always uh, working hard and make much uh, practice and so to I'm on the right position. Uh -huh. Okay, how about you? Well, really, I did not do much training, but I used to, I would race nearly every weekend and I think I was quite fit. Now, the top riders in MotoGP have to have professional trainers and because they have to be supremely fit. I think in my year, in my age, it wasn't quite so necessary. Okay, thank you very much for the time. I'm really happy to interview both of you. Fine, thank, thank you. You, you made the interview with me. <laughs> <laughs>